Good evening, parents, students, families, and staff. As the principal of Rio Calaveras, it is my privilege to welcome you to our virtual celebration of our students' hard work and success, otherwise known as eighth grade promotion. On behalf of our otters, I would like to thank our middle school and support staff for working diligently to provide our students with extended learning opportunities for this past year. Thank you parents and families for your help in making your child successful and ready to move on to ninth grade. What's up, what's up? This is Sean Derrick. Uh, two things. Uh, one is I put pants on for this video. So, you know, you're welcome. Two is congratulations. You are coming through this at one of the most bizarre times in our history, and I couldn't be more proud. Because <laughs> you're going to be prepared in a way that I wasn't, the way that, uh, in a way that your parents or grandparents weren't, because they didn't have this to contend with. And so already you are a champion. And the cool thing is because you're going through this now, you have the tools to reframe this whole situation. Instead of talking about all the things you miss, you know how to talk about all the things you'll miss when this is over, like spending time with your family, quality time, you know what I mean? And quality time with yourself, getting to know yourself, the person who you're going to be with the longest. And look, people want to want to call you crazy during this time for like wanting to be positive and show leadership. And I want you to get used to that. Because anyone who's done anything of great significance in history was once called crazy. From the airplane to the iPhone, those inventors and innovators were called crazy. And let me tell you something. You're going to realize soon that crazy doesn't mean that you're out of your mind. It just means you're out of theirs. So I just want to encourage you to keep shining. And remember this quote from my friend Ed Blunt. If you're currently not experiencing growing pains, it probably means you're not growing. So here's the growth and here's the positivity. You did it. Good evening, Rio families. This is Miss Nelson, and I would like to congratulate the eighth grade class for making it through this unprecedented time. You will all definitely be missed, so please come back to visit when you can. Now, on to my favorite part of any promotion, the student speeches. It is with great honor for me to introduce four remarkable and courageous students who took the time to create farewell messages to their fellow classmates. Please enjoy the following remarks given by Melissa Rodriguez, Oscar Diaz, Christina Booker, and Michaela Lynn. Hi, I'm Melissa, and I'm a part of Class 2020. With this pandemic going on, it's sad to not promote in person with the people we know and grew to know this year. This year has been one heck of a roller coaster of emotions, grades, and overall excitement. For me, coming into this year didn't seem possible. I was supposed to transfer back home in Oakland for my final year in elementary slash middle school, but I didn't. And I had a good year, met new people, I never thought I was going to be friends with, and getting a grade that I only wished of having. Feeling good about myself and having a blast overall. I have to say I hate not sitting right next to my best friend and having that bear hug that we accomplished and achieved something since being in school for eight years already. With that waiting so long, we have to wait four more years to get a diploma. So in four years, hopefully we graduate from Chavez together and we're sitting right next to each other, bear hugging. Thank you. Good afternoon, real eighth graders. My name is Oscar Diaz and just want to say congratulations for all your hard work and dedication this year. Although this year has been quite hectic, especially with all this going on, just want to let you guys know that many doctors right now at the moment are, you know, helping their patients overcome COVID-19 and they don't know if they can go back home or if they will go back home to their families. So we should just stay safe and not stress over it. Other than that, we should also be on top of all our assignments, especially on Google Classroom, because entering high school is going to be way different than eighth grade. So if we start slacking, that's not going to be good. And just make sure that we're on top of everything, make sure we're not missing any assignments and, you know, make sure that you're completing everything. And um, I know that we can do it, especially with time and dedication. And if you put your mind to it, anything can happen. So just make sure everything's going good. And even though we're not having a physical promotion this year, we will be having a graduation for high school, hopefully. So hopefully this encourages you to actually want to graduate and actually, you know, try in high school. So if you weren't like really trying in eighth grade, you should try in high school to 
you know, graduate. And other than that, just keep staying healthy, keep staying safe, and always remember that success doesn't come to you. You go to it. Hello, Rio Calaveras Class of 2020. My name is Christina Booker. I've been a Rio Otter since the second grade. During this time, I have grown not only in academics, but in a mature way as well. If you know me, this is a great accomplishment. This has been a very different and difficult time for all of us. Naturally being able to say goodbye to all teachers and close friends, but this too shall pass. Although our lives has changed through these last couple of months, our spirits has grown stronger. I will miss Mr. James. I feel like he helped me to become the young lady I am now because he showed me so much over the years and I couldn't thank him enough. He showed me how to not say everything that I'm thinking. If you know me, you know I have problems with that. Mrs. James is a great teacher. He treats his students like we're his own. He puts us in check when needed and I'm beyond grateful for everything he has done for me. And he will be my, always be my favorite teacher. And I love him for having my back Telling me, from, telling me from right from wrong. Not scared to have my mom on speed dial. But I will also miss Miss Mata and Miss Reese for all the help and support. I thank you for believing in me when nobody else would, giving me chances and having talks to me, reminding me to pull it together. And I love you guys for that. As far as peers and classmates, I just wanted to thank you guys for the best eighth grade year a person could ask for. I know we're all moving on and going to different high schools, but I just wanted to say, stay true to yourself and be nobody but you. Last but not least, I just wanted to say thank you to all of my teachers for putting me up, putting up with me this year. I know I could be a tough co cookie. Thank you for showing me stuff that I didn't understand and thank you for respecting my point of view because I know I can voice my opinion at times. Thank you for understanding me and I hope you guys continue to be good teachers that I know you guys can be. And thank you for all you have done for me personally. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for everything you guys have done. Thank you guys, class of 2020. I hope everyone is doing, being safe, washing their hands all that good stuff. But that's me signing off. Sincerely, Christina. Bye. Our lives have been spent preparing for the challenges we'll face. School is one example where we constantly study to prepare for quizzes and tests that I'm sure many of us dread. Surprisingly, I found myself wanting a challenge in sixth grade making the decision to move to Rio for academic pentathlon. Here, I was lucky enough to be welcomed into a community full of support and spirit. I'm not going to lie, academic pentathlon was challenging. This is one challenge I don't regret. The hardships were hard, but the times of joy were overwhelming. Like the Fridays we would spend in Ms. Sherman's class, strategically sharing our Friday free rights until there was no class time left, and when we had a marshmallow fight that left Mrs. Dern's carpet covered in marshmallow goo and nearly ruined. Together, we were able to carry out schemes like those. We continued to help each other throughout the years. And as a team, we accomplished our goal of winning nationals. Our experience helped me realize the importance of friendship, teamwork, and the very fundamental of a team, connection. In our world today, a connection is more than just an internet connection to watch the latest YouTube video. It means how connected we are as people, as a community, as a class. I want our generation to be known as more than just the generation that went through change. We are the generation where our future is in our own hands, where we are in charge of writing our own destinies full of hope, success, and possibility. This all starts with you, the person six feet away, and us together, no matter how far apart we may be. Because as a team, connected, we can accomplish anything.
Hazleton Awards are given to outstanding Stockton Unified School District students in the 3rd, 6th, and 8th, and 12th grades. The Hazleton Award is named in honor of Dr. William T. Hazleton, who taught in Stockton during the 1890s. In his will, Dr. Hazleton set aside funds to create this award for students. It is with great honor that I pronounce to you our Hazleton Award winners for 2020, Kalia Chow and Eric Spears Jr. Congratulations, and we are so proud of you both. Good evening to our students, families, staff, and the community. Mrs. Reese and I are sad to be celebrating you this way, but so excited for you and proud of all of your accomplishments. It has been our pleasure to watch you grow into the young people that you are today, and we are so excited to see the great things you will do in high school. Eighth grade students have the opportunity to earn honor cords. The cords represent the student's cumulative grade point average for the entire eighth grade year. A green cord represents a cumulative GPA of 3.3 to 3.49. A green and gold cord signifies a cumulative GPA of 3.5 to 3.749. And a solid gold cord represents a cumulative GPA of 3.75 to 4.0. Students who earn this honor will have one of the pictures seen here to signify the level of honors they achieved. <laughs> so we wanted to take this time to let all of our eighth grade honors know how proud we are of you guys and that once an honor, always an honor. So come on by and see us. Um, and you're probably wondering why we're dressed in matching outfits today, but <laughs> We wanted to get dressed up for you guys in our own gowns. And hopefully someday in four years, not someday, but in four years, we'll see you in the same gowns. Not with the fancy hood though, but, right Ms. Reese? That's right. But we hope to be at your high school graduations and anytime you need us, you know that you know where our offices are. Some of you pretty well. <laughs> Bye. Congratulations everyone. Go Otters! The eighth grade students had an opportunity to apply, interview, and or be recommended to participate in the following academic programs. Students had to make at least a one-year commitment. Students who participated in AVID, MESA, PLUS, and or academic pentathlon will have the symbols that you see here on the slide dedicated to their promotion. And now the moment that you all have been waiting for, I want to see you guys get up from your couches and cheer as we celebrate and present Rio Calaveras' Class of 2020.
Hello to the graduating class of 2024. I have struggled with what to say to you for quite a while during this difficult time. First, I want you to know that I am very saddened to be doing this by video and not live to be able to celebrate this milestone with you. You, Rio Otters class of 2020, have shown that you are braver than you believe and stronger than you seem and smarter than you think, as Christopher Robin would say. As you move forward into the next step of your education, I want to remind you of the things that I think you all have gained during the COVID-19 crisis in America. You have learned how to function online in a much stronger manner than you have had in the past. In the past, we have navigated through Quizlet, Google Classroom and Google Slides with our teachers right by our sides. You have now learned how to hang out in Google Meets and Zoomed through live conversations and lessons with your teachers. You have learned that through Class Dojo, you can watch your teacher do a lesson through video so you can then do the work assigned. When you think of your computer skills in August of 2019 versus your computer skills in May of 2020, I'm sure you will see how far you have come. Many of you just competed on Zoom across the county to Victory and Mesa. You have learned time management. You have had to access lessons and assignments and then figured out how to get them all done and turned in on time. This is a skill you will find yourself needing for the rest of your life. Whether it be in high school, college, or your career, they all require time management on your part to accomplish what needs to be done. You have learned how to FaceTime or hang out through other social media with friends. You have learned to have conversations via phone that are meaningful and that help you keep in contact. This is something that I hope you take with you as you leave us because it will be the glue that holds friendships together as you move into different colleges and careers that separate you by states or countries. Last but not least, you have learned resiliency. Resiliency is the capacity to be tough, to get through the difficulties of life and to spring back into shape. Resiliency is what gets you through the really hard things we have to sometimes suffer and face in life. The loss of a family member, the loss of a friendship, a pet or a way of life you have been used to. It will help you have the staying power through all nighters to finish a paper in college and still attend class the next day. It will help you work through an issue at work or in a personal relationship and still be able to function in life. It is the one thing we have hoped to give you because it will sustain you through the difficult times. I am proud of each one of you who has attended Zoom or Google Meet classes, who have worked in breakout groups, who have completed each assignment because you have shown that you do have true resiliency. You have worked to be better than you were yesterday consistently throughout this challenge. I wish for you a world that stabilizes soon, where life gets back to normal, whatever the new normal may look like. I wish for you to know that we all celebrate you and the hard work you have done for the last nine years. I wish for you to know that I and your teachers, Mrs. Mata and Mrs. Reese, are also very proud of you and the strong, resilient person you have become. I want you to remember that in life, your greatest story is not in never falling, but in the fact that you get up every time you do and you start again and push on. And Rio Otters, the last thing I want you to remember as you push the elementary school years behind you and move into high school is that this is the beginning of anything you want. It is the beginning of a new chapter in your book of life and it is the beginning of what will be the rest of your life. Go out and make it a great one so that we can all celebrate your future successes with you. Thank you.
Congratulations to the Rio class of 2020 and the high school graduating class of 2024. You are on your way to great things. I now pronounce you ninth graders. Woo! <laughs>